How's it going everyone? Welcome back to a vlog episode since it's been quite a while since the last one and a lot of things has happened since the last vlog episode. So I thought I would do an, an actual video and upload it to YouTube since I've been using my uh, community tab inside my channel to notify all my subscribers. But I know not everyone is using the, the community tab inside you know, YouTube channels. So I wanted to make an actual video explaining what exactly has been going on uh, with my life throughout the past couple of weeks and the past couple of months since as you can see a lot of things has changed if you've been following my uh, vlog episodes from time to time. So just to sort of update the people who hasn't been following this channel for the past year or so, uh, what happened was I moved into an apartment with my girlfriend that was on paper affordable, but when we moved in it became apparent that it was way more expensive than we initially thought it was going to be. So we lived in an apartment that was too expensive to live in and because it cost money to move to a new place, we, we also couldn't afford moving out of the apartment to a new place. So we were sort of in a rough situation because we didn't have any money to do either of those things. And then we came up with sort of a drastic solution to it, which was to move to a camper and live in it. <laughs> which is not really something you do in Denmark, which is where I live. It's sort of seen upon as a weird solution for people who are sort of bankrupt. Um, but we decided to do that because it was the cheapest solution for us if we wanted to work doing the jobs that we wanted to do, which in my case was to do YouTube full time. And when you want to do YouTube full time and you, you're not that big yet, and because teaching channels on YouTube usually don't earn as much as other channels on YouTube. Um, that was sort of the solution we came up with. So for many months we lived at a camper and there was a couple of issues that sort of started appearing, which was the fact that in winter time it's very cold in a camper. Second of all, the camper we lived at, or at least the camping spot we were at, had a lot of water problems when it was raining and there was a lot of snow. So each time we came out from the camp, we sort of went into a pit of water, which was not really that fun. Uh, each time we had to go you know, shopping or anything like that inside the city. So there was just in general a lot of issues with it, such as they closed down the water supply to mention something. They closed down the showers, they closed off the hot water. So we had to go down to the city to get showers and such. So we were sort of at a spot where we just couldn't take it anymore, but we couldn't afford moving anywhere. But what ended up happening was that the camper spot, the place we were staying at, that allowed for us to move our address to the place because we need to have an address at the place you live, they allowed for us to move the address to the place and they've been doing it for a couple of years for all the people living there because we weren't the only people living there. And suddenly we got a letter saying that they had to go to court because apparently they were not allowed to let people live there permanently with an address and everything. And here in Denmark, we have free health care. And what comes with free health care is that you have to have your doctor at the same place that you have your address. So if I have an address in the city I was living in, I needed to also have the doctor in that city. So we had sort of an issue here because we couldn't just move our address to a family member and still live in the camper, which we were permitted to do if we wanted to. So we did actually need to move away from the camping place. And then what ended up happening was we were actually allowed to move into this place, which is actually, well, I can't, I can't actually talk about this place because it's sort of a sensitive area still. Uh, it's sort of luck and bad luck that I'm, I'm living here with my girlfriend now. Uh, so it's sort of sensitive and I can't really talk about why I moved here. But the fact is, the, one, the, the thing I want to mention is that I do actually have a place to stay now. And as you can see, this also involves having an actual office where I have proper sound isolation, I have proper lighting, I have proper things. So I can actually start doing this channel in a professional way, not inside a camper because I did actually used to have a tent outside the camper when we were living at the camping spot that were sort of insulated and everything. And it was just, 
it was it was doable, but there was a lot of planes and cars and stuff driving by the tent all the time, so you could hear it in the microphone from time to time, and I had to stop recording, and then I had to start recording again all the time. Now, something I want to do in the future with my videos here on, on the channel is I want to actually include my face with a face cam inside my videos to make it more personal, because one thing I want to do with the channel is to make it more personal so you feel like I'm actually talking to you and we have eye contact, if that makes sense. Um, so I want to add my a face cam to the videos and in a way that is not you know taking up a lot of space, but just to make it sort of personal. So I hope that is something that affects the videos in a positive way. So I'm just gonna test it out and if it doesn't really work out, then you know I tried it. So it's gonna be something I'm gonna do for the next couple of videos at least. So besides all that, I just want to just take up the last 30 seconds or so saying thank you for all the support you've given me on YouTube and support of the fact that I wanted to do this full time. Uh, it's not something I was al well, allowed. It was not something I was permitted to do before because it's not really a lucrative business to do YouTube, at least as a job. And the support you guys have given me and all the, you know, the, the views and the subscribers that's been coming in throughout the past couple of months have been huge and the channel has grown quite a lot in a short amount of time since I've started doing this full time and it's only because YouTube works in a fun way if I put content out there that you guys like and you like the videos and you watch it and don't get bored by the content it affects my videos in a positive way and I show up more often when people search for videos and the only reason I can pop up on search feeds is a direct result of you guys liking to watch my videos. So it's something that I really appreciate that I'm getting this really positive feedback on my content. So I just want to say thank you for all the support you've given me. So I think this was pretty much what I wanted to say in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will be seeing you guys next time.